The standard risk metrics can be broken up by the kind of default that they quantify. Term default, maturity default, and technical default. Term default is the risk of default over the term of the loan. So if a loan has a 10-year term, these metrics quantify the risk of the loan defaulting over those 10 years. DSCR measures term risk and is calculated by dividing the NCF, net cash flow, or NOI, by the annual loan service payment. A DSCR of 1 means that all the property's cash goes to loan payments. There is no profit left over for the equity. A higher DSCR means that the property's cash flow is cushioned and is thus less risky. Normally, loans start off with at least a DSCR of 1.4, and if during the term DSCR drops to, say, 1.1, then the borrower is required to deposit all cash into a reserve account. The DSCR thus measures a property's ability to generate enough cash flow to service its annual loan payment. Maturity default. Maturity defaults occur when the borrower is either unable to fully refinance or sell the property at a price high enough to pay down the previous loan. Forecasting the value of the property at maturity is important for determining the risk of maturity default. Common metrics used are debt yield and loan-to-value (LTV) ratios. The risk of maturity default is heightened during periods where credit is scarce, interest rates are rising, and or property values are falling. In this kind of credit scenario, the borrower may be able to service the loan payment but find trouble refinancing or selling the property to pay off the balance. Debt yield. The debt yield is calculated by dividing the underwritten NOI or NCF by the proposed loan amount. It is used to measure the risk of maturity default. A higher debt yield implies a less risky loan. Loan to value ratio, LTV. The LTV is calculated by dividing the loan balance by the property's value. A property with a lower LTV, say 60%, is less risky to the lender because even if the property's value was to fall, say to 80% of what it was at issuance, it might still have enough collateral to be able to pay off the balance of the loan. Underwriters can mitigate the risk of maturity default by decreasing the size of the loan, by having the loan amortize, or by lengthening the term of the loan. A 10-year loan has a much lower chance of maturity default than, say, a 5-year loan. For example, a standard 10-year loan with 30-year amortization will have paid down 15% of the principal by year 10, so that even if the property value has dropped 15%, the owner would be able to successfully refinance. Technical default. Technical defaults refer to defaults that are of a non-monetary nature. These can result from a borrower's non-compliance with the requirements and agreements associated with the loan. For example, if a borrower is found to not have adequately insured the property, as dictated under the terms of the loan, the property may be exposed to material adverse consequences and loss risk.